Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And we're going to show you how to append and link from another Blender file. Since you can't just copy and paste objects between from one Blender file to another. So let's start out with a cube. I'll hit one on the keypad to look at it from the front and tab to get inside it. And I'm just going to make a change, slight change so it looks less cubey. Okay, so there we got a very interesting shape. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and do Control W and save this to my desktop. And I'm going to call this uh, Cube, for lack of a better name. Even though it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's no longer a Cube. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to open a new document. I could do Control X, Erase All. I'm just going to hit X and erase that Cube that was there. And to bring that shape in from the other file, I'll just go append or link, go to my desktop, which is where I saved the file, click on cube.blend, go into the objects, select cube, and click load library. And you'll see, boom, there we've got it. Now this is a copy from the other file. So I can select this and alter it, and it will not alter the original file, <laughs> right? But what if, here, let's get rid of that. I hit X. What if we wanted to bring that other file in, but the artist wasn't working on that, wasn't done working on it? Well, we can do that. We can go File, Append or Link, and we're already inside that file here. We're in the cube.blend in the object. And we can select cube, but this time we click the word link. So instead of doing a copy, it will link to this data in this other file. And you could also select relative paths too. So right now this will use an absolute path to that file. You could assume that one file is relative to the other, but for, uh, you, for this bit, we're we're just gonna keep it as an absolute path. Load library. So now the neat thing about this is this is actually linked to a library object. And you'll see the color is a little different there. Mm -hmm. And down here, you'll see. Oops. You'll see that this says it has a li for a library object. Now, oh, yeah. something that might be surprising is if you try and move this object, you, you can't move it. Uh, what you can do is do Control-Alt-P and make it a proxy object, and now it's movable. I can move it around. Cool. And let's save this out. I'll call this Cube2. And... The cool thing is, I can do a Shift D and duplicate this object a couple times. Now, one thing to note is when I duplicated it, it didn't duplicate the link to the library object. See, there, there is the library object. This one doesn't have that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go up here to L cube, and that has the library. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that. And save it. Now the neat thing is, I'll go back to cube and say I'm going to do a little more work on it. I'll do Control Tab and switch over to Faces, and we'll extrude that up a little bit. <laughs> scale it down. Extrude. Escape. S for scale. Extrude. We'll bring that down. That's cool. And we'll bring this out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm making. I'm really just having fun. Yeah. It's, look. That's one of the things that you can do in Blender. <laughs> just make stuff. Just be creative, yeah. It's fun. So now we've got this interesting and slightly weird-looking <laughs> shape. 
It looks like a boat. <laughs> it does. So I save it. And let's go back to my recent files. Go to cube two. And we got them all updated. Pretty neat. Oh. Now, even though it seems like you can go in and change these files, realistically, uh, if I were to close this, let's uh, like just for, we'll switch back to the other one real quick. Oops. And then reopen. See that it, the change didn't stick. Even if I don't know, did I did I save it? Yeah, you did. I saw it. It's gonna it's gonna reread in the library object. So even though it 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 looks like it's working right now, like like you can change that. Really, you would have to uh, change the library object. Because as soon as I close this and reopen it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it rereads it rereads that information back in. Yeah. So that's the pending and linking files in Blender.